look, we made a lot of money putting the color barrier, but there's still, still, still a barrier, and he just crossed it. It's the end of your show for sure. So it's me. I'm heading to Hollywood next month for another film. Might be your last one, Bobby. I don't say that lightly. I told you to keep an eye on that. Where are you going, Tina? We gotta talk. The next day, all the Southern affiliates dropped Bobby Free's Big Beat. They replaced it with a similar show out of Philly, Bandstand. Then, Free was arrested after a rock and roll show at Boston Garden, charged with inciting a riot. That cost him his radio program, but he still had one more film to shoot, featuring some of the biggest names in rock and roll. Cameras. Rolling. Okay, uh, action. Welcome back to our rock and roll stage for the last time, the unbelievable Jimmy Lemon Long. Oh! Praise the Lord! Lord, please calm down, Jesus. British press got a hold of incestuous pedo. The army got Elvis, the Memphis libido. We lost Buddy Holly, the Texas torpedo. Along with La Bamba and his big burrito. Duck walk got nailed on man act violations for nailing white school girls in 17 nations. And the mob got control of radio stations, which actually kind of to a loftier pitch. And now he works for the sexist of a Baptist church. Hey baby, check your backflip. Are you a sexist of a Baptist? Go baby, you're fanatical. My church is the actual practice.
Marty has his name on all my songs, he owns all my records, he makes all the money. It's like working for the devil, I'd rather work for the Lord, yeah. You think you can just walk away, just quit? Go find your own teen idol. Yeah, go find another teen idol. <laughs> just walk away and everything's different. Everything is different. I am saved. <laughs> I hope saved. you saved some money and some dope, because you can't work with nobody else on nothing. Nick Chinchilla and Don Carlo were arrested for heroin smuggling. They faced serious jail time. That and the New York District Attorney began cracking down on criminal bribery in the radio, which led to the spectacle of over a dozen top DJs giving themselves up for arrest. Time for Marty to get out of New York. He and Judy Cook threw an all-night party at the DJ convention in Miami. This is a backlash for rock and roll. This is our payback for selling rock and roll to racist America. You know who started all this, do you? No, Marty, who started all this? Ass clap. When rock and roll took over the airwaves, ass clap's money dried up. Didn't the congressman give a rat's ass about payola? They never heard the word till ass crap lined him up and sent him off in our direction. Yeah, I think you're right, Marty. The same rock and roll would never become popular without bribery. Rock and roll, the big criminal conspiracy. I'm not convinced that they can just clean up the airwaves and all this horrible Negro music will go away and stop ruining their children. That's what it boils down to. And they're gonna get away with it this time, too. Well, tell me this. What about Bobby? Bobby. When he got caught, he called me. You know what? I told him. I'll help you. Do me a favor. You go home and don't talk to nobody. I get home, Post has a big interview with Bobby Free. He'd already talked to him. Right. Fucking prick. Hey, baby, show Nick what that animal did to you. Shit! Sorry, dude. That's okay. That's what we're dealing with now. This is the story they print before coming to the party to drink our booze and still make the still make the deadline for the sunrise edition. What's wrong with you, guys? Forget the dumb writers and forget the DJs. <laughs> Donate to both sides, the most 